Hi, I'm Dr. Liberty Vittert, Professor of Data Science. If you're a follower of Decision Desk HQ, then you know we have a data-based forecasting model that we've been tracking in weekly videos since July. And now that we're just a few days away from election today, we wanted to give you a look at some of the key races that will determine control of the next Senate. We're going to start in Nevada, a race that we have been tracking for months, as Democratic Senator Catherine Cortez Masto has been in danger since we launched our model. First elected in 2016, Cortez Masto only beat her Republican opponent, Joe Hack, by about 27,000 votes out of just over 1 million cast. The quote, none of these candidates, the uniquely Nevada twist, besides prostitution, received over 42,000 votes, so it was a super close election. The state has not gone GOP at the presidential level since 2004, but it has recently elected Republican senators, governors, and an attorney general. In fact, Cortez Masto's opponent, Republican Adam Laxalt, followed her in the AG's office after winning the 2014 election. 2014 was a huge year for the GOP, and Laxalt hopes that the current environment in the Silver State is as fruitful. Going into the last few days, the DDHQ model rates this race as a toss-up, with Laxalt having a 55% probability of winning. Our polling average is Republican plus 2.4. Nevada offers all voters a chance to cast their ballots by mail, in person, before Election Day, or on Election Day. In the past, Democrats have relied heavily on early voting in Clark County, home to Las Vegas, to build up an advantage before the GOP voters tend to turn out on Election Day. This year, the Democrats' early turnout firewall might not be materializing. Longtime Nevada politics reporter has been tracking the early vote in the state for years, and his conclusion after two weeks of returns are that the Dems are in trouble in Nevada. So what to watch for in this race? Polls close at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific. The key counties are Clark and Washoe. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. The overwhelming majority of the state's voters live in these two counties. Roughly 74% of the Democrats' votes come from Clark compared to 64% for the Republicans. In Washoe, where the GOP gets about 17% of its votes and Democrats get 18% of theirs, the rest of the state is only about 11% of the population and it breaks heavily for Republicans. If Cortez Masto has a shot at winning, she'll need to win Clark by 8% or so, with more or less breaking even in Washoe. If she falls below those margins, the Republican advantage in the rest of the state could be enough to really carry Laxalt to victory. I'm Dr. Liberty Vittert, and that's Decision Desk HQ. Look at the Nevada Senate race. Be sure to check out our forecast model linked below and our other videos right here on YouTube.